Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Michael Bowman, on some quick tips for starting to learn Photoshop alongside Maya. Okay, so I have this Maya scene and one of the most powerful fe features of Photoshop is the ability to work with layers. Now what's nice is that Maya has the ability to put your 3D objects on layers as well. So if we come down here on the bottom right hand side, we can see we have some display layers but if we want to want to render these out into Photoshop, if we click on the Render tab, this will be our Render Layers. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can break up this clock. Now, I actually have it in a group with the face for the, of the clock as well as the body. So with the body selected, I'm just going to come click the button on the far right. And what that's going to do is create a new render layer and then automatically add the object that I have selected, in this case, the body. Okay, so if we click on layer one, we can see that all we have on this layer is the body of the clock. So I'm going to rename this to the body. Now, if I were to come in, I can create an empty layer, and this one will be for the face. And now I can select my face group in the outliner here, right click on my face render layer, and tell it to add the selected objects. Okay, so now I have two render layers, one with the face and one with the body. And if when I render this out, I can actually tell Maya to render this as a Photoshop document with the layers intact. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can do that. I'm going to open up the render settings. And if I were to come down, I'll, I'll have to keep the file name prefix as clock. I'm going to change the image format though from Maya IFF. If we scroll down, we can see a PSD layered. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit close and then come to the rendering menu set and tell Maya to batch render this out. Okay, so my rendering is complete. I'm going to open up Explorer here. If we look in the images folder of our Maya project, we'll notice that we get our clock PSD file. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and I'll just drag my clock into Photoshop here. And we notice we have two layers automatically created, one for the face and one for the body. So that's a quick look at how we can use Maya's render layers to render out layers that we can then directly bring into Photoshop. Now, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, I'd recommend by starting out by going through something like the Photoshop CS5 for Beginners course.